Hey, how's it going? Can you give me a hug? Oh, how you doing? How you doing? Oh. You're going to make me cry in a second. Those are some real tears. You all right? It's for you. Where were we yesterday? Yesterday we did Fern Cotton, Deliciously Ella, BBC Radio. Oh. And then today is Lorraine This Morning. Oh. Whether you're single and you just started dating, whether you've been in a relationship or you're married and you want to find that spark again, or whether you just got broken up and someone just broke your heart, this book is designed to help you navigate all of those transitions. Because the way we navigate those transitions lead to transformations. And so this book is hoping to be your friend, your guide, your coach. Hey everyone, it's Joe Shetty. Join me on Lorraine for some thoughts on Valentine's Day. We believe that someone's love for us is what makes us lovable. Yes. So we believe that if someone values us, then we're valuable. If someone likes us, then we're likable. And so all of our self-belief, self-value and self-esteem is based on someone else's view towards us. So then when that person leaves, we feel broken because they just took what we so deeply needed. This is probably my first official meet I've ever done in my life. Stop it. I've been a huge fan of his and admire his work for many, many years. Just his aura, his presence, it's so amazing. I'm hoping to learn more about love and self-love. Every day I start every morning with On Purpose, so and I read Thing Like a Monk, so yeah. I just think it's really interesting to have a book out there that's about all types of love, not just romantic love, like friendship love, love for your friends, love for your cats, your dogs. So I'm at Waterstones in Piccadilly doing my first ever meet and greet book signing for Eight Rules of Love. I think there's a few people outside. I'm really excited to see them, excited to give people big hugs, take pictures, sign books. And uh, yeah. Uh, I'm gonna go out and say hello. Everyone make some noise. How oh, awesome, look at this. All these wonderful people. Uh, now I can't make them wait, so I'm gonna put this down. <laughs> Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. I cannot wait to read this. Oh, I'm so grateful. Thank you for your support. It's actually like a dream come true. It's, um, I'm part of a genius community. Oh, I love that. That's yeah. awesome. How long have you been a genius? I wanted to really thank you for um, the motivation. <laughs> you inspire me so much. Going. How are you doing? Oh, thank He's you. He's changing people's lives. Oh, it's thank amazing. you. Oh, good. Your podcast is the reason I left an abusive relationship after eight years, and I'm so grateful. I just want to say I appreciate you. Oh, so thank much. you. And your content is literally amazing. What do you think are the three keys to your success? A pure heart with an intention to serve people. Um, really good head of being really strategic and knowing what to learn and what skills to have and then sacrificing everything for it. I've listened to him for about a year and a half straight. Jay is such an inspiration and he's a beautiful human. And he published his thing like a monk book, just fell in love with it. Now today's guest is someone who's so hard to book, like literally, like the most difficult. We book these incredible guests every single week. It's so hard to find a spot in their schedule, like no matter how much you try, like we've been working with their team for the last two years. This guest hasn't come on the show for the last two years. We're talking about the one and only, my heart, my wife, Radhi Devlukia. 
two years it took to get you back I on the show. I didn't realize it's been two years. But also, what do we have to talk about every year? <laughs> A year yearly podcast. But yeah. Also, I'm busy. <laughs> it's an annual check-in. I know it is. It is. Yeah, and it's yeah, an annual so check-in. So sorry. Us sharing our challenges, our wins, know, our our I can't successes. It's been two years though. It's been two years since you've been on the podcast. It doesn't feel like it. Yeah, it doesn't feel like that. But thank you for having me back on. Number get one health here. podcast in the world. Sometimes it's hard to get you to walk from the house to the studio. I know, I know. Yeah. There's a study that showed like the changes that stress people out the most mm -hmm. and even put stress on relationships. And it's moving countries up there, moving job is up there, moving home is up there. Mm -hmm. And then I think it's having kids. So we've literally done three out of the four yeah. constantly over the last seven years. And the fact that we've constantly found a way to find our way back to each other and connect with each other mm -hmm. and had the openness to not just point the finger and blame or... I've, I've just never felt like it's been my fault if life's been harder or easier. Mm -hmm. And so there were times when, when we were close to being four months away from being broke and you didn't change how you felt. And now that things are better, you haven't changed towards me. And so I just feel like that kind of support is really special where you just feel like someone's consistently in your corner. Thank you so much for watching and listening today. As always, Radhi and I try to be extremely open. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it helps you in your daily life and with the people that you connect with. That's our only intention and our only goal. Thank you so much for listening to On Purpose and I'll see you on another episode. Thank you so much.